When you ask what should characterize a Christian life, it, it should be, let me start this way, love for Christ. That's the most defining characteristic of a believer. I think about Jesus with Peter. After Peter had denied him three times and he was told to go to Galilee and wait for the Lord, and he's up there and the Lord hasn't shown up, so he decides to go back to his fishing career, and then the Lord shows up. You remember the story in John 21? And three times Jesus says this to Peter, do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? This is what characterizes a believer, love for Christ. You can measure your own Christianity by what you love, John looks at it from the other side, the negative side, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Really, love is the defining thing, and it's love for Christ. Do you love him enough uh, to worship him with a whole heart? Do you love him enough to serve him with your whole life? Do you love him enough to walk circumspectly and wisely and righteously and to avoid sin and to, and to avoid the places and the experiences of temptation whenever you can? How much do you love Christ? That's the bottom line question. Uh, all of our spiritual lives are a reflection of the level of our devotion to Christ. So when we talk about what it means to live a Christian life, we're talking about an increased love for Christ. That should be the mark of a believer. I always say that to people. I can tell who's a true believer because they love Christ beyond all other things. Secondly, how, how do you get that love for Christ? It comes from seeing Christ. That way, you know, I've spent 25 years of my preaching ministry going through Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. That's Jesus every week. 25 years of that. Another 25 years writing commentaries on those same books. And then preaching through Hebrews. And then preaching through the book of Revelation, which is the glory of Christ. And that's how you grow to love Christ. You don't love him in a vacuum. You don't love him in ignorance. You don't love him sentimentally. You love him because you're just caught up in the wonder of his person. That's why there are four gospels in the New Testament and not just one, so that we can come at the person of Jesus Christ through those four different perspectives as if light were shining on a multifaceted diamond. So we have that love growing and developing as long as we're focusing on his glory in scripture. And I think too, it's important to know if you see Christ in all his glory in the New Testament and you know what he looks like, you can then go to the old and find him when he's there as well. And your life pursuit is just to know the glory of Christ. And then to love him more becomes the response.